Speaking of conveying things to the audience, uh, if you wanted to, Jack, uh, we can go ahead and and go over an overview of uh, Dollar Bar. I, I, I think you have that queued up for us. I do here. Uh, I'll tell you what, uh, just on the little bit of jumbled confusion there on enterprise resource planning, enterprise, enterprise resource platform, enterprise resource, whatever, um, I did want to go into a brief overview on what an ERP actually is and what it does. And I found kind of a great article on Oracle site. I didn't link it in the uh, overview of dollar bar here. Um, but just to give a, be- a quick background on what an ERP is, it it's a type of software that organizations use to manage day-to-day business activities, such as accounting, procurement, project management, risk management, and compliance, and supply chain operations. Okay, great. Right? That's fine. That's perfect. That You just threw a bunch of words at me that a, a business is supposed to do, and I guess they do all of these things, whatever. Um, if you break it down to a technical level, though, an ERP is basically a schema, right? It's a, it's, and I say this for every web app, it's a database, but this schema essentially has everything your business would need to function from all of those different aspects. I I mentioned accounting, procurement, project management, risk management, compliance, you know, HR all in one place. So now, what do you mean it, it has all of them? Like it, it can perform. Yeah. So say you have, so say you have a vendor, right? Sure. You have your vendor and you buy a product from them Mm -hmm. and say you're their vendor for multiple products. So in your ERP, so if you were to do this traditionally, basically I'm sure you'd have multiple different departments reaching out saying, Hey, we need part X, which is, let's just say a screw or something. And that same company provides, well, I don't want to go too far here. We'll just say a screwdriver. Okay. Well, you have a screw and a screwdriver. Same company provides both. Well, traditionally, maybe if your business isn't operating efficiently as possible, you probably have one department reaching out for the screws to the same vendor, to a vendor, and you probably have a different department reaching out to the same vendor for screwdrivers. Well, maybe you can just package that in and say, hey, with you know one screwdriver, can you ten- send us 10 screws? And it's a terrible example because you buy a screwdriver basically once and you buy screws all the time. But if you were to look at this in an ERP sense, Essentially, what you can do is instead of having to ask six different teams or one, you know, two different teams, all right, who do we get the screws from? We need screws now. Or, hey, we need a screwdriver. Who do we get that from? You basically can add your vendor in, add the list of products that they have as somewhat of a their inventory or this is what we buy from them. Mm-hmm. And then you're able to track that through the life cycle, if that makes sense. So you're saying that uh, with... With this, I would have, instead of various teams uh, handling stuff in their own way, right, this would take care of both it's of their problems. One loca- it's one location, right? It's enterprise resource planning. So it's, right, that's exactly what it is. You have everything in one spot to do everything. And it's a terrible, I mean, that's so broad, right? That's yeah. so broad. Yeah, well, and, and but that's, that's why I what, it. That's yeah. kind of what ERPs are. They do, pro- they essentially do processes right mm. they do business they their account they i would call it mostly financial related business processes now the awesome thing with dollar bar is that it's modular based right mm-hmm. so say you're an organization that only needs, needs to do a handful of things maybe you only maybe you're a freelancer and you only need to provide services to whomever basically what you're going to do is you know if you're ceo and you have a couple of developers under you you're going to Go in, you're going to create a couple of your own as as a freelance business owner. You're going to go in. They have a great account management. Mm. So you can go in, you can create who's, you know, what's the hierarchy look like. Uh, you can kind of set sick days, pay days, all of that. And then you can set up, um, there are a couple things here you can set up. Uh, so you're not selling a physical product. So you're not going to need, you know, stock management. Mm-hmm. You don't, there's module, there's mo- all kinds of modules for that. You're, you're not going to need that. You are going to need, uh, payments management, invoicing, mm-hmm. contracts, mm-hmm. you know, I think you can send out, uh, it, I'm trying to think of the word for it here. Um, proposals, 
So it, it, all of this is basically in one place. Well, and um, and not only that, but you know, down here it, it talks about you know mass emailing and it you know employee management yeah, like right. leave requests. So like I could I could do time yep. tracking in this too. Yeah, uh, and then reporting, uh, document management. So like this could be you know if you really wanted everything in one place, right? You 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 might not necessarily you if you're looking it. for like a a. A document storage, you might not need Nextcloud if you already have dollar bar set up because why introduce a different system when this could already do that with another module? And I would I would agree with you, but I would say this is very business oriented, okay. right? Yeah, if you're, sure. If you're I think I, Nextcloud does I, I didn't have want a you very, to take the jab. I was gonna yeah. say I, Next, Nextcloud is its own ecosystem. It is uh, for document management, it has all those tools, but this is just kind of a different well, and to that point, Nextcloud could be a password manager too, right? If you really, right. really wanted right. it to be. But guess what? You know, what's a tool for the job? Maybe if your entire ecosystem is in Nextcloud, you're like, you know what? Let's just keep it there. Like, let's just we we could, yeah, we, right. let's just keep it there. Like. But if you have a couple of systems, you're like, you know what? I need all this complicated sharing and stuff, and I want, you know, guaranteed zero knowledge proofs. And, you know, Bitwarden is absolutely your answer at that point, right? Much like if you've got several different aspects of your business that you kind of want to be interconnected, right? You want to know what employee is reaching out to what customer, under what accounts, and what invoices they've sent them. If you need right. all that to That's be exactly like right. linked together, right? And you want to be able to follow that paper trail, like this is the system. Like that's totally. the system. Pro ERPs do process management very well. I yeah. would argue Nextcloud does not do process management. It does file basically file handling. Yeah. Uh, which if you want to add a note saying, hey, go over to Nextcloud and get the file here, you can, or you can just upload it straight to the straight to dollar bar. Now what so what can't dollar bar do? That is a good one. Um, my favorite, it can't make you coffee. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's it's really it's there are a handful of limits. Uh, dollar bar does not contain a payroll module. I think they said yet. Okay. It doesn't contain a payroll module yet. So I assume that's something that they're working on or that's probably an independent module you can go out and find. It could be. This uh, is and, open and source, install. right? And and this is uh, modular too. And, and I know that people do install plugins for this. So this is something that you can have a plugin ecosystem. If you have a independent third-party developer, you're like, I really need a payroll you know, payroll module. Like this is something that you could you could fund to have developed. Totally, and this is and it's P this is written, PHP written in PHP. I was just gonna ask, yep. written PHP. Just gonna ask, yeah. Uh, it also can't do uh, so. As I said, everything's in modules. So there's a project module mm. uh, which can manage tasks. Uh, not to go off on a tangent here, the project module is pretty cool, and they also have incident management. Oh, really? Um, okay. Similar. I, I I wouldn't call it similar to Zendesk. Uh, it's very, it's a very limited uh incident management tool that they have or incident management module i should say um for creating you know we're having a we're having this problem you know third parties can sign on and say we're having this issue with whatever uh, it's out there but on the project module essentially tasks on the project module can't have dependencies between each other kind of unfortunate as you and i have seen in kanban and our can board we link everything yeah together, and basically. and well uh, I, and that's that's one of those those gotchas, right, with any kind of software, right? That's why I like, personally, I like best of breed software because I know a lot of these yeah. kind of edge cases have been addressed, whereas like Nextcloud's deck, I, I, I think it's going to be the same limitation, right? I don't think those ca tasks can have dependencies, right? But if you're willing to just say, I just want it to be like a to-do list that I can look at, right? Then right. it, then and it's, it may be something, fine. yeah. Maybe, maybe something for you. Yep, it can't do... Uh, it doesn't include webmail. Um, so I think when it talks about this, I, I kind of go to... I, I didn't really go into a deep dive on webmail. I figured it was kind of like an inner, inner mail type of... Inner intracompany type mail mm -hmm. is what I had thinking. It does external. You can link an SMTP server and it sends it... It can send it to external or could send it to whomever but basically there's no uh webmail included with it um 
the double party accountancy is available since 6.0, but it doesn't sound like reports are available. Fine. Uh, just another limitation. It sounds like they're working on it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If they have it in there, it sounds like they're going to be working on reports. Um, and then it also sounds like there are a couple modules there that are just in the works, but not only just in the works, but I mean, they do have dollarstore.com if you wanted to. Yeah. Right. Right. And that that's their, uh, that's their module marketplace kind of store. Thing. Yeah. 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 But there's really not, we went over, I felt like I went over a lot that dollar bar can't do. It's really not a long list. Yeah. I mean, you can really manage everything from dollar bar i you and i talked about it we when we looked at it it has point of sale available you can yeah. run it from a server you can run it from local so yeah. there's just this is pretty cool a lot of stuff that can be done from it well yeah. and and i like this last uh kind of part you bring up here is uh, who is who is this built for yeah and really primarily it's going to be for businesses right mm-hmm. if you're signing up for an individual account on our composer <laughs> I don't know if I would recommend this um, unless you need to manage your own sick time or you want to manage processes on your own for different vendors. I don't see this being an individual use case. So what, who is this for? It's basically for businesses. Mm-hmm. It's for companies and freelancers selling, selling services, um, companies, manufacturing, ma- companies manufacturing products, uh, shops selling products and uh, as we said point of sale systems mm. and then uh the other feature it's basically for businesses when it comes down to it yeah and I, I you can take these modules and you can install whatever you want you can remove whatever you want it's it's very modular is what it dollar bar really boils down that to. and and it's uh all the modules are are working together to give you that that one kind of cohesive workflow experience. Yeah. So it, it's a great service. We, we did add it to the R compose suite. We have it available for deployment now. So if you are a business owner, a small business and you need this kind of service, I would highly recommend checking it out. Or if you even have any questions, just reaching out on the R compose.com slash command center slash contact. But that is all I have for Dalvar and ERP.